guys, Jesse with Hunt Performance today. This thing needs some help, man. I'm gonna try to help it to the best of my ability. Uh, if you guys like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, check out the links in the description to support the channel. Let's get into this trailer. So, uh, welding on trailers is kind of iffy. Uh, in the professional world, really, I wouldn't do it often unless I knew who it was and I knew that they were like, good people and da, da 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 But I was loading a bull and my bull broke this trailer and it's my grandpa's trailer. If we just, it's a little trailer we used to run around the ranch and deliver like, you know, single animals and stuff like that. Anyway, he uh, did a number on this post. Uh, I'll bring you in here and show you this post, but we gotta get this fixed because grandpa's gotta haul some cows tomorrow. It's not my trailer, so I really need to get it fixed. So I'll flip you around and show you. And then I'm gonna show you a tool of the trade that I use quite a bit when I'm doing welding work or, you know, I use it a lot. Anyway, I'll show you that. So I'll show you this dealio. So as you can see, it is busted, but it's also pushed out. That corner, that angle is supposed to be all the way up in there. See, we have a huge gap over here. Obviously, this trailer is worse for wear, but I do need to get this pulled over and welded back down, get the support bracket welded. Here's a better picture of that gap that we have to, we gotta pull that deal over. Um, it's gonna take a little work, and it's gonna take quite a pull to get it over there, and I'm gonna show you what I use to accomplish it. So I'm gonna get set up, get this thing, uh, you know, started and we're gonna try to get it pulled over. I can't tell you how many times a big old ratchet strap, just like this guy, has saved me in welding. Uh, hanging gates, uh, pulling stuff together, just really overall anything to pull stuff together. And honestly, I've used to pull stuff apart, actually. I use these big old ratchet straps. Um, I definitely say if you are gonna buy some, get the bigger, heavier duty ones. Uh, I'll put some links in the description. And you guys can check them out. I'll hopefully find a couple good links for some different ratchet straps. But I'm basically just going to find something over there that's solid to hook to on the other side of the trailer. So I'll come over here and kind of try to hook around or something and pull it over. And it may take a couple tries for me to figure it out. But that's how I'm going to get this pulled back together so I can get her uh, fixed. Anyway, yeah. So but I guess let's uh, get to it. Okay, so I opened the door and I got it to uh, slide in here a lot closer. I was it was getting way out here. So now I'm gonna stick the pipe wrench on here and try to, you know, try to bend this guy back a little bit. Uh, pipe wrench works pretty good for this, but you know it's kind of bent all the way up and down. But I'm gonna really reef on her. I may go get a pipe too, a cheater pipe. Try to get that straightened out some. So we're pretty close right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld this right here and then try to get a little more bend on her or see how the gate shuts at that point. And then if the gate shuts good, I'll just take this bar over here and weld it in place and probably call it good. And then see if I can get some weld back here on the inside a little bit. But uh, that's a lot closer. So we're gonna get set up and get welding. Okay, a few things that are really important. Gotta have a good ground. 
So I put it on the shiniest spot I could find, and who needs a grinder to grind the ground? Number two, you need to clean your material. I'm gonna stick the grinder in there for two seconds and get it as clean as possible, and then yeah. Number three, when all else fails, turn 6010 up 80 or 30 amps or more too high and run it in there hot. But even on thin stuff, it'll work real good. So let's get this welded out. Welded. Welded. Like crap. Welded like crap. Welded. Trailer six. Door's not. It's not supposed to go inside like that. You wanna see it again? It's supposed to stop. Crooked door. We're gonna fix that. Ratchet strap and chain time, here we go. Chain. Ratchet strap. Trailer on pickup. Needed to come this way a little bit. So, I'm just gonna yank on her. It kind of works now. Uh, it's really messed up though, so it's just gonna have to work, but it's a lot better now the gate swings and doesn't hit stuff and the trailer's not completely wobbly, but it's a piece of garbage it needs replaced. So anyway, please like, subscribe, comment, check out the links in the description, support the channel. We will see you next time.